Welcome back to another sushi video recipe. I'm Chef Devo and today I'm going to show you guys how to make the carrot butterfly and the cucumber fan. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so to begin you want to cut your carrot into a block like this. And then you want to cut the base of the carrot, so just below the center. All right, perfect. And now you wanna cut the front end of the butterfly. You wanna make sure it's not going through this here, the barrier between the core and the outside, because this will actually dislocate if you cut it very thinly. And so the antenna would break off if you actually cut through it like this. So make sure you have the blade just past it. Okay, so at a slight angle, And there, see I've actually cut through it here and this is now useless, this part, because when you cut an antenna through here, it will actually break off, so it's no use. No worries, I'll try to do it the other way around and then there's always two chances at this. Perfect. Now moving on, you cut the top off the carrot, which will be the top of the butterfly. Okay, so this is how you want your carrot block to look like. You want a small base, a large top, and a large flat surface on one side and a smaller flat surface on the other side, angled. This one he needs to be a slightly lower angle and this one a slightly higher angle. All right, so here I'm gonna make three cuts, one going in half a centimeter and then two joining to that first cut at 45 degree angles on either side. And this will create the top of the butterfly wing and it's going to be beautiful curves ending in a point there. So now after cutting the 45 degree angle cuts, I'm now going to go back in with a small knife and smooth out by shaving it off. Now you want to really watch out you don't cut into your fingers. So you really want to control the blade and take care where you point it. It's very advisable to always point the blade away from yourself and not towards any fingers. All right, so now that I've curved this and this here, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna smooth this off here. Okay. And then I want to make a small little, this is the back end of the butterfly. And you wanna make an incision, about half centimeter, a small triangle at the bottom to give it that distinct no end piece of the butterfly. So this is where the front is. And just curving that slightly. Okay, so now to cut the antenna. You wanna place your knife just at the edge and then softly, smoothly cut into it. Until you reach about a quarter centimeter off the bottom. And then you wanna pull out. Then you flip it over. and you cut just the opposite side, about a centimeter. And then you pull out. And out there is your butterfly. Okay, so now to cut your butterfly, you wanna take your knife and cut it in this direction, so it pushes the antenna towards the carrot. If you cut it the other way, what happens is you'll pull it away and you might not cut it and it might actually break off. Now you place your knife extremely close to the edge. You want to make a paper thin cut. And you slide it through. Until you reach about a quarter of a centimeter off the bottom. Then you stop and you pull back out. Now you make another thin cut to make the second wing and this one goes all the way down.
All right, once you finish cutting, you put down your knife and you pick up your little butterfly package. Then you just pull open the wings and hold it from the bottom and press them down. You hold it at the bottom so it doesn't split in half when you do this. And now you just simply push up your little antenna slit and you bend it over so it folds in on the inside. Now you just simply spread open your antenna softly and bend it again. Voila, a little butterfly ready to go. Now you can put this on top of a little sushi roll or just put it around the player's decoration, whatever you want, but it will look stunning and it will make your sushi look much better. All right, so now for the cucumber fan, you just need a chunk of cucumber, about 15 centimeters long, cut it in half. All right, now that you've cut it in half and now you simply want to start cutting very thin slices, one millimeter thick, 70% through the cucumber. Then once you're done with that slice, you take a knife at a 45 degree angle and cut the ends off to get nice sharp ends. Now you fan out your cucumber on the board, just like so. Don't worry if it doesn't stick together too much. And then you cut off the ends just before the end. Okay, and now you make another cut to make it slightly leaning forward so that it stands up perfectly. Now you just fan it out and that there is a cucumber fan. It's a beautiful thing to add to a sushi plate, gives it a little bit of height, another dimension to it. Instead of having just flat food on the plate, this really elevates it to another level. So hopefully you guys like this decoration. It's pretty simple and beautiful. All right, so this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please subscribe to my channel by clicking on the top left corner of your screen. It's completely free and you'll be updated whenever new videos are released, normally once a week on Wednesdays around. Now, if you want to see more videos this second, then click on the right right now and you can see all my other videos to do with sushi and garnishes and other types of food too, so check it out. Also, if you're interested to see more garnish videos like this one, then check out the garnish playlist on the bottom left of your screen. And if you want to have the same knives as I use in this video, then press here and you'll be taken to my website uh, page specifically about the knives I use and where you can get yours. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Till next week. Goodbye.